I, I joke because I fired myself. I'm on the, I'm running, I'm running the digger. Do you find that other people act like that too? Or is it just like you coming from the place you are in that group of people that you're the one with that mentality, but do you find others still are like, I am, clip, I'm clipping my own wings today. You know, you guys are upstairs. I'm, I'm staying down. I'll put stuff together, but I'm not out of percent. I'm fighting more. Yeah. Uh, guys going in, uh, but it could be where I'm at too, because now I'm not here. So it's a little more, it's a different pace as the contractor world, right? Um, but in the same breath, you, you still, you're still expected to do, you know, yeah. that's fine for a day or a week, but the guys are going to start being like, what's up, right? And usually when it gets to that point, there's a lot there's a lot more animosity between the crew, right? Sure. Because you went a whole week of... You know, Them having to pick up the slack. Yeah. The, the guy will do it here or there, but it wears on the boys too, right? You can't... You expect it every now and again, but... Yeah. Not. Eventually. Do they call you out on it? Uh, I was called out... I seen it called out. Yeah. Our guy was going through some stuff and... Um, uh, the crew called him out. And... Then he changed, he was the foreman. And then the next day he flipped a switch and said, I'm sorry, I'm trying not to bring it home or bring it home to work. Yeah. And then. Do you think that's a good thing? Yeah. So we had this discussion. Yeah. 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 So you think that more people should call out the situation and not just like let it ride? It's a fine line. All right. Because, um, a guy can react differently, right? Like that, that situation he reacted. That. Where is that line? Like, in your opinion, where's that line of, of calling you out, St. Jared, like, what are you dealing with? You know, the whole crew's picked up some slack recently and, you know, we're here to, like, what do you say? We're here to support you, like, but this, like, can't go on longer or can't go on much longer without you figuring your shit out or getting help or like what do you need like how how would you because this is what like we we talked about this briefly offline but this is what a lot of guys are struggling with you know not trying to bring to work their home life but it's hard to separate the two no matter who you are it's hard not to think about what's going on at home if it's if it's rough and you're at work. Yeah, I I think the line, I don't know where the line is. I think it would depend on each person and your relationship with the person. I know when I was just recently, I was working. I know this guy very well. He had a discussion after work. We're driving home, and, and he's like, "Look, I'll be here for you, but this, we got to get moving here, kind of thing." So then. Next day, I reflected on the next day, talked to him and said, sorry, I've been leaning on you. I'm trying to get better in the kind of deal and gave me a hug, literally. And if anyone knew who he was, they'd, they'd expect, expect nothing less, right? He gave me a hug and said, let's get through it. And it was just kind of a little slap in the face that now I'm starting to, I'm starting to wear on my sleeve now, type thing. And I think, I think that was just through the, friendship we had but that was like not where I'm like came back at him with you know that any kind of anger or anything like that I understood where he was coming from and he was we're alignment we don't know how to talk yeah you yeah. know totally and that's what I kind of go with too is like I was mentioning this to you on the phone the other day is how much of it is our responsibility and how much of it isn't I guess that's what I'm trying to get at is like, where's that line and what is it that, that we sh like, how far should we involve ourselves into that guy's life? <laughs> is it just like a comment? Is it just like, Hey, we've noticed that you're going through some shit. You know, if you need help figuring out some help, but like to inject yourself as the one to help probably isn't the right thing either. Because like you said, we're linemen, we're not professional, you know? psychiatrist or something you know 
Yeah, I think also, but if you don't do it, are you able to, are you able to carry on working with a guy that's here, you're helping out or, you know, there, or that's kind of been in a funk, right? You're just kind of turning your back or your blinders to it. But I get some people don't want to be in the, they got their own stuff going on. The last thing they need is good point too. you to um, fill their plate up with your stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. So it's like, I think just being open when, when times are good and times are bad, because that's if you're, even if you're working at home and there's the same, the same issues, you gotta go home. You gotta, we got a different life after work, right? Yep. And you gotta try to make that work. And then come seven o'clock or eight o'clock, wherever you start, you see the guys again and they're expecting to you show up the same way you left for the next day, right? I find it's like a bit of, there was a bit of ex escapism for some guys too, being on the road. It's a little easier to just like push off that, that home life if it's bad. I don't even know if it's home life. It's just push off your own. You just get in a funk and you just turn into a, like a robot, like a robotic state and you just start working, right? And then you just, and then you end up not doing the fishing you like to do. You end up, you know, just, you know, it gets wearing on you. Like you go travel in this place. Like that's when you ask that question, what do you like about the trade? Traveling was great. Meeting the people that was amazing. Met some great people. I yeah. met them only like two weeks. And when I was going through some stuff, they called me out when I came home and called me, make sure I was doing all right and stuff like that. And, you know, going back to when you were saying, well, the brother, I'd like, that's there. Cause they didn't have to call. I think it's easier to call after when a guy says something than it is to like call him out. Gotcha. I think it's safer. So if a guy's going through a rough batch or whatever, you kind of just let it go. But if a guy comes out and says like, if is my work, you know, is it reflecting my work or is it reflecting my attitude at work or, you know, and then guys are more open to it. And then they'll be not like it happened to me the other day. I was going to work and I was like, I was saying, I was went back into work mode and they're like, we just talked about this. You're doing the opposite. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just, but when, when the crew knew, knows that you're kind of not all there, they kind of will help you out as much as they can. Right. I'm not saying they're going to have your back and they like look, make sure they're doing everything for you, but yeah, they'll definitely like when the boom goes up, they'll make sure you're, you know, you're okay. Yeah. At yeah. least. Cause you get, you get proud. You're like, yeah, I'm fine. But yeah. Yeah. That's, I've seen it with guys. Like we, we've both seen it like in light of current scenarios too. Like somebody can seem like they're put together and they're coming to work and maybe they're even doing the job and they're doing it really well. They're doing it 99.9% .9 capacity and they're looking like, all right, but then they're still struggling with something. And again, like how far do we, do we go as, bro as brothers and as much time as we spend together with people, you notice, right? It's like, okay, they're doing their job really, really well, but I know that you're struggling with something. Like how much do we inject ourselves into that and try to like help in some way, shape or form? That's what's, that's what's such a, it's hard, it's hard to figure that out. Yeah, I don't think, I think every circumstance you have to go by the individual and the, and the surroundings. And then, like I said, or like you were saying, you spend so much time with them. You end up knowing the person's kids, wife, yeah. mom, you know, and, and you know them enough that, you know, like just certain demeanor or the way they act or things they say is like red flags or green flags like whatever like they're either happy and they're good or there's something going on and they're not quite right yeah and it's like i guess don't be afraid to call it out like don't don't be afraid to say something and and call them out like don't 
always wait for the blow. I would say don't wait for the blow up or don't wait till you go home and you got to like, you, you try to make that call and see how they're doing because like, what if you get tied up doing things and, and you don't get a chance to make that call and time gets away on you and then they're off struggling still and you could have helped. All right. If you're liking this content lately, please make sure you like subscribe, follow, do all those things. It really helps, helps the algorithm, helps get this pushed out to more people. And I appreciate it. Peace.